What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt Get The Hands. Back to you with another video. And in this haircut tutorial, we're going to be doing a conservative businessman haircut. No ball fade, no ball taper, a crispy lineup with some scissor work. We're going to go ahead and wet the hair, part it in the desired uh, way that it falls. And we're going to put a number five on the sides. Um, and then we'll taper out the, the sideburn area with a four and the back area down to a three. Um, my client loves his length. He's had, he hadn't had a haircut in probably about three months now, maybe four months, because I haven't seen him in a very long time um, adding on to the quarantine. But um, like I said, guys, this is a number five. Actually, this is a number six. The number five guard that I have is black. So this is the number six. We're gonna go ahead and use that comb to feed that hair into that guard. He, he wanted it pretty long on the sides and he wanted to keep the length in the front. So you'll see whenever I get to the other side how we're gonna cut it. But right now I'm just feeding that hair into the number six guard, not going up too high. We wanna keep a lot of volume. And to be honest with you guys, a lot of barbers see this type of hair come in the shop and they go to the restroom they don't have an opening they have an appointment coming in trust me i was that barber i was that guy that saw this type of hair come in and was like nope i'm not going to cut it i don't know how to cut it i don't feel confident cutting this type of hair because sometimes the clients will say you know what i want an all scissor cut and i could have did an all scissor cut but my client wanted a good amount taken off on the sides not too high so we're gonna blend that in with only scissors from here on out so now this is a number um five guard i just kind of went a little bit lower because i want to taper down and now i'm going to go ahead and wet the hair and i'm going to go ahead and make some little cross um graduation sections and we are going to trim that hair to blend in so i want to brush that hair out the way because i don't want to cut too much of that um, because i want that to fall back so i'm going to go ahead and make sure that i I point my fingers out and like based off of his head shape. I'm not cutting in, I'm cutting out if that makes sense. So I'm bringing the hair out and I'm putting my fingers in the outward position. If I would have kept it inside, you would have cut too much off. It would have been short, it would have been sticking out. So if that makes sense, you can see whenever I grab the hair, I kind of tilt my fingers going towards my body so I don't cut too short right there. You saw me move my hands. I'll do it again right here. Grab it and move it forward. Yep. Just cut the, the, the very top that we can blend in with the bottom. There's many ways to do this haircut. And there's probably a proper way or more educated way to do this haircut. Um, this system works for me. It blends in well. I'm going to go ahead and follow it back up with the thinning shears. But I'm just making sure I'm connecting this all the way to the back where I started, where I ended my haircut. And then I'll go ahead and connect the side to the back. So you'll see. Once I once I do this this uh, this shear work, I'm gonna go ahead and use my thinning shears, and you'll see it blend uh, better. But yeah, my, again, guys, this is not your typical skin fade, low fade, drop fade. It's a very conservative gen gentleman's haircut, and it works. Now that we have cut the hair on the sides, we are going to slightly, lightly blend the tips with the thinning shears. I'm not cutting in the middle. I'm not cutting to the root. I'm just cutting and thinning out the very tips of the hair. Because as you can tell, when you lay it down, it's blending in, guys. I'm removing that bulk. I'm removing that weight. Some weight is good weight in this type of haircut. Um, but you just want to make sure there is a smooth transition. You don't want to cut too high around the crown area because then you'll have some sprouted hair. But just wait, guys. Just bear with me. This haircut's coming together. You're going to see at the end that this haircut is very, very effective. And it looks good on my client. And I feel like if you have this type of hair, if you want to go shorter, cool. If you want a more conservative look, businessman. He said he wanted a grown man haircut because he had a grown man interview. <laughs> Um, 
he he used to work at Outback, but now he's you know getting into an office in the corporate world. So, hey, shout out to you, man. Good luck, and hopefully this haircut gets you that job, man. All right, so basically what I'm doing right here is I took a number four guard, and I'm just kind of scooping and grazing around the uh, uh, the ear line and also the sideburn area because I want to taper that hair down just a tad, just a tad bit, not too much. I still want to keep it dark, still want to keep it long. But as you can tell, guys, doing that thinning shears technique, look how blended that well, look how blended that looks. Like I said, there's a little bit of weight, but just it's not the finished product. Just tapering right around that ear line. Some more thinning shears. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and connect the other side. Again, this is a number six guard. And look how well that hair is laying down. It's blending in, it's not choppy, it's laying down. There's a little bit of flow. We're keeping it low too with the number six. We're not cutting too, too high because everything else is gonna be used with shears and thinning shears. You just wanna make sure you wet the hair and then also make sure it's dry whenever you apply product. Now. Towards the end of this haircut, you're gonna see I use more of a gel base uh, product. Um, the reason being because my client likes that gel look. Um, we've tried the 245 wax and, and, and you know the, the fiber on him before. He just likes that gel look more so like he likes it for it to hold in place. Um, and it looks good. He likes that wet look also. So. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna use uh, some gummy gel, if y'all are familiar with that. And again, I'm using that comb, feeding that hair into that guard. And like I said in the beginning of this video, you're gonna see that I removed that whole fringe area out the way because he wants to keep that real long and disconnected. So when I style it and everything, you're gonna see how it lays down on the hair and it's just gonna have that nice uh, profile. Alright, so now what we're doing is we're wetting the hair like we did on the other side and we are going to connect it with the shears. Um, sectioning it off, section by section. And like I said, just grabbing whatever's hanging over and that's gonna drop right into that, that uh, the bottom of the hair, wherever it lays down. It's starting to blend in right there. Then you can cross track your work and, and cut it um, vertically, I'm sorry, uh, horizontally. Right now I'm doing vertical sections. But just comb that hair down, make sure it's blending. And still angling my hand out. I'm not cutting you know, close to the root or in the middle of the hair. I'm just making sure that I've cut the tips and whatever's hanging over, I'm knocking that off. You can see right here, I'm gonna cut uh, horizontally after this section. And I just felt like being that it's gonna be disconnected, going towards the fringe area, that's okay. Um, and my client understands that. So I'm just gonna try to get as close as I can without cutting too much of that fringe because I want that to lay uh, kind of like over it, like a shelf. And you'll see at the end, watch, that it, it's gonna lay pretty nice. So just cross-checking my work. Right here I'm just point cutting to kind of soften that area up a little bit. But look how that hair is laying down guys. I love this look. I wish I could get a lot of these haircuts. I love doing these haircuts. If you're in the Tampa, Florida area, come see me at Headlines Barbershop. Book your appointment at the Land of Lakes location. We have a Headlines Barbershop app. We have seven locations in the Tampa area. Look up LOL, Lando Lakes location, 
select your boy Matt for a haircut and let me change your life, man. Let me change your life. I need all types of content, all types of haircuts. The address to the barbershop is in the description below. And as I said in the beginning, we're gonna go ahead and taper out the back of the neck down to a number three. And that just removes a lot of the long, longer hairs around the neck area whenever we line it up. It's not, when you have a side profile, it's not sticking out. There's no, there's no hair that's sticking around the neckline. So you wanna taper it down. You could taper it down to a two or one, but we wanna just get a nice, um, a nice, I guess, level of hair. That way we can line it up and it doesn't look too bulky. But as you can tell, look at that profile. It just kind of tapers down into the neck. <clears throat> now, bringing the haircut to life with the lineup. We're gonna line up the neckline going right around the ear, moving the ear out the way, favoring that left side of that blade on the cordless wall detailer. And then we're gonna line up his beard as well. And once you put that lineup on that C-cup into the beard, guys, it just takes the haircut to a whole nother level. Now we're favoring the right corner of that blade, connecting it around the ear. Try not to go too high. There are some clients that like white walls, um, but it's very rare. Just, just be careful, man. Don't, don't, don't go too high around the ear line. And on the beard, um, it's super dark towards the back of his beard, so we're gonna go ahead and comb it towards the ear and knock that hair off. Because once you knock, once you brush it down, um, it looks it looks shorter. You're, you're basically trimming it. So it's a power. right here, we're lining up the C cup, not going, you know, against the the natural line up. We're following the natural line. This is his first time growing out facial hair as well. Growing out his hair, period. Um, he used to have a real short comb over, but I, I like his look on him. And like I said, he has a, a job interview in the corporate world. So going from a, a serving at Outback to a corporate job, you gotta make sure you look the part, you know? I'm not saying that he can't have this haircut at Outback serving, cause even with this haircut, I'm sure he can get some nice tips serving, but you understand what I'm saying? Like, he wanted to fit the, the the career that he's looking for, you know? And I'm also doing this voiceover right now. I am at my daughter's uh, ballet class and I'm in the truck and I'm editing this video, guys. So anytime that I can get to edit these videos and and get some content out for you guys, I make sure I take full advantage of it. But just notice that that lineup, man, just bringing that haircut to life. Not going against the hairline, not cutting too deep into it, not pushing it back. Just a nice crispy lineup around the neck and the beard line. Now we're gonna um, trim the mustache. So I went ahead and took a number one guard with the grain and I'm trimming that hair down. Um, that way, you know, obviously you don't, 
a lot of the clients, man, they want to trim that mustache hair down more than more than uh, the beard because it tends to grow a lot quicker. It's more coarse and kissing your girl, your spouse, or whatever, they do not like it. Ain't that right, babe? That's right. <laughs> My wife, I have my, my mustache to a five o'clock shadow and she hates it. Man, little by little, this, this haircut is just bringing it back to life. All right, so now we're adding the gummy hair gel. We already wet the hair. We're gonna comb it in the desired style. But this is pretty much the end of the haircut, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. A businessman, grown, grown man haircut right here. I, I, I had fun doing this. I enjoyed it. I, I, I think this is great content for you guys. So if you learned something from this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment. And as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted.